Hey, good day everyone. Pasay Bado here. We are now on this uh, February 26, 2024, NBA game day. We have like, I don't know, like four games for today. And to kick things off, let's talk about this Eastern Conference battle between Toronto Raptors and Indiana Pacers. This one will happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and it's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Toronto Raptors approaching this game, they got a record of 21 wins and 36 losses. Well, for Indiana Pacers, they have a record of 33 and 25. Uh, both teams trying to, you know, try to improve their records. Both teams trying to uh, position themselves in, you know, in a better spot towards the playoffs. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you guys might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. And by the way, the spread that is given is minus 6.5 that's given towards Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers, they would have the home court advantage on this. Not only that, in terms of momentum, we also got to give it to Indiana Pacers. Approaching this game, they are on a three-game winning streak. And for their last 10 games, they have actually won six. But, you know, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not like Toronto Raptors uh, have been losing. Toronto Raptors, approaching this game, they are on back-to-back -back wins. But for their last 10 games, they have only won four. So again, if we would actually pick one who's got an advantage in terms of momentum, we got to pick Indiana Pacers. Now, in terms of fatigue, well, uh, both teams are coming off rest. Is that right? Let me double check that one out. Well, I was wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hold up. Um, Indiana Pacers actually played uh, last night. Let me double check Toronto. But Toronto did not. So, um, Toronto Raptors, they got some advantage in terms of fatigue because Indiana Pacers actually played uh, against uh, Dallas. Uh, and they actually de defeated Dallas by 22 points. So, um, in terms of again, in terms of fatigue, Toronto Raptors must have a, you know must have an advantage over Indiana. Now let's take a look at the health and availability for both teams. For Toronto Raptors, I can only see one player in their IL, and that's Marquise Noel. Well, for Indiana, I think there's only one player as well in in their IL, and that should be um, Aaron Neesmith. So both teams, uh, you know, both teams have one uh, players have one player in their IL, but I gotta say that the value of Lee Smith is uh, more than uh, Marquise Noel. So um, I'm gonna say that again, Toronto must have a slight advantage, a very slight advantage over Indiana in terms of health and availability. Now this game must be tricky. I mean, just like what I said earlier, Indiana Pacers they got some momentum. They are at home, and man, they just defeated. You know, the uh, Dallas Mavericks, a very strong Dallas Mavericks team, uh, last night by 22 points. You know, and that's something that's hard to do. Now, Indiana Pacers, they can actually explode any time. First quarter, second quarter, even even in the fourth quarter, they can just actually uh, explode and, you know, and beat any team by double digits right on the spot. But the thing here is that if you take a look at the, the, the trend that these two teams had uh, for their last two games... Both teams have been competitive whenever they, you know, when, when, you know, whenever Toronto and Indiana go up against one another. Um, it, it ends up with just, you know, with just a one possession, a one possession lead over the other. Um, yes, Indi uh, Indiana Pacers defeated Toronto, and then Toronto defeated uh, Indiana. But then again, it's just in the matter of one possession. So th that's that's one thing that I'm actually considering. Uh, num number one, number two is that uh, the uh, which I'm gonna call this uh, number two is that the 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 fatigue factor. You know, Indiana Pacers. I'm expecting them to start to start up hot on this one, um, especially coming off that huge win last night. Um, but sometime in the second quarter, third quarter, Toronto Raptors uh, must you know must actually get hot as well. You know, basketball is a game of runs, just a, just like everyone knows. But um, and again, these two teams they match up with one another real you know real well. And I feel like uh, they would really end up with very close against one another. Um, Indiana Pacers, they are the bet they are the better team in terms of offense. There's no question about that. But Toronto Raptors, uh, for me, 
they actually are the better team in terms of rebounding and in terms of defense, especially whenever they go up against Indiana, they look very different. They also have some, you know, some players coming off that coming off those trades, uh, which actually helped them and which actually be, um, make made this team a better one. I'm talking about Bruce Brown. I'm talking about uh, I'm I'm talking about KO. Um, yes, they're not part of their starting unit, but th they actually made Toronto Raptors uh, better by you know, but 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 by what they can do off the bench. So I'm I'm gonna stick with Toronto Raptors, and I'll go ahead and take that plus six point five in here. Again, I feel like Indiana Pacers would still win this one and would continue their winning streak, but um, win, uh, Indiana Pacers winning by like double digits or you know by winning by covering the spread is something that. I couldn't. I can't imagine, especially considering Toronto is also having their back-to-back -back wins approaching this game. So I'll go ahead and take Toronto Raptors, and I'll go ahead and take that plus 6.5 spread. Again, that's Toronto plus 6.5. Peace out, passe love, God bless. This is going to be cool. Uh, Siakam will actually be going up against his former team.